Within the context of worldwide attention on recognizing the Armenian Genocide, Armenia has become a forerunner in efforts to condemn and help prevent all genocides. The broad spectrum of centenary events and projects is also a testament that in terms of the struggle for genocide recognition and restitution, there's no turning back. It was precisely with this in mind that the 100 Lives Initiative was launched on March 10, 2015, with the involvement of Oscar-winning actor George Clooney. The 100 Lives Initiative was launched to express gratitude to the individuals and institutions that saved Armenian lives 100 years ago. Many of the survivors and their families have gone on to lead successful lives and make significant contributions to their adopted countries. Founded by industrialists and benefactors Ruben Vardanyan and Nubar Afeyan, and Carnegie Corporation of New York President Vartan Gregorian, the initiative is focused on learning from the past. My grandparents were genocide victims. I know nothing about them. My name is Vartan Melkonyan. Immediately following the start of the initiative, a number of websites in various languages were launched to gather stories about Armenians whose lives were saved during the genocide years. To date, over 400 survivor stories from throughout the world have been uploaded. We're trying to find documents from the time of the genocide which will confirm the stories and names we have collected. Although historian Ararat Mirzoyan has read hundreds of genocide stories, He's still discovering new layers and details with each new story he studies. The stories are diverse, and often it's possible to complete them by comparing them with archival documents. With their wealth of personal and historical detail, many of these stories are so powerful, so vivid, that they could be bestsellers or Hollywood movies. In addition to its work with individual genocide testimonies, the Council of Historians is tasked with studying and presenting the stories of 100 survivors who have gone on to help change the world for the better. We verify the accuracy of each and every story, comparing it with historical facts and documents. Everything, including people, places, and events, is checked for accuracy. It's only when everything is substantiated that we submit a given story for inclusion in the 100 Lives collection. The selected stories are published on the 100 Lives website. The material is available not only in Armenian, but also in English, French, Russian, and Spanish. This is the story of Vahagen Hayrabedyan. So far it has had the most hits, partly because it's complemented by numerous photos. Vahagen Hayrabedyan's grandfather was a wonderful man who was photographed in every country he had been in. He also annotated all of the photos. Another major component of the 100 Lives initiative is the digitization of historical archives. The goal is to eventually digitize millions of documents pertaining to the genocide. Many members of our Council of Historians, who themselves have studied and published those archives, were kind enough to make them available to us. Based on these materials, we'll be able to create one of the world's largest databases of archives pertaining to the Armenian Genocide. A defining goal of the 100 Lives Initiative is to help prevent genocides by awarding its Aurora Prize to those who have risked their own lives to enable others to survive. The prize is named after Aurora Mardiganyan, a young girl who survived the genocide and went on to tell her story to the world. Aurora Mardiganyan's life changed forever in 1915, when Ottoman soldiers murdered a group of Armenian girls in the Syrian desert. Sixteen girls were crucified. Aurora was to be the seventeenth. The annual Aurora Prize includes a $1 million grant. 
It will be awarded to a recipient who will in turn present it to the organization identified as the inspiration for his or her humanitarian action. The first award ceremony will take place in 2016 in Yerevan, with George Clooney presenting the inaugural prize. I'm very happy that George Clooney accepted to present the prize, which we hope will become as prestigious as the Nobel Peace Prize. As an expression of gratitude, the 100 Lives Initiative will provide scholarships to 100 non-Armenian students from throughout the Middle East for studying at the United World College in Dilijan, Armenia. With its far-reaching activities and projects, the 100 Lives Initiative underscores the fact that the centenary of the Armenian Genocide does not signal the end of the story, but rather a fresh new beginning.